Hey everybody, my name is Tiny Tree, and I'm going to be doing a Let's Play series on the Book of Unwritten Tales. So I'm going to start my first game. It's going to be a blind playthrough. I haven't played through it before or uh, done anything except for check that it works. Book of Unwritten Tales was recently released. It's a point-and-click adventure. I can't remember the developer's name, but it seems to have been doing quite well. So I'm interested to see how it goes. Oh, okay, here we go. Our world is at war. Only the old can remember a time without... Cinematic's actually quite nice in this. Defeat followed victory. Victory followed defeat. No one could gain the decisive advantage. Only now is there an end in sight. Who would ever have thought that it would fall to someone like me, an old archaeologist? put an end to this madness and I didn't find the key it looks like a cross between Bilbo Baggins and Yoda <laughs> deep in some dark dungeon. is that a flower or a feather of a fiery mountain no I found it in an old book I only hope that luck has not abandoned us what's happened to Beetle and the Archmage's men doesn't he know how oh must be in a draft Oh, maybe not. Oh, shit. Okay. So then, you're a <coughs> Guffin, are you? Archaeologist, adventurer, and future trophy on my mother's living room wall. And you are Monkus, dastardly son of the Archwitch Mortroga. What do you want from me? I think you know that. Where is it? We know that your feeble-minded servant was on the way to that damned magical trickster, Alistair. I won't tell you anything. Take him away. Mother has ways and means of squeezing what we need to know out of him. Well, that was silly. After all, what's likely to happen? Oh, well. We're several days away from the Wildlands. It's just as safe here as in the Elf Burrow. Oh, then... Wouldn't be a fantasy game without a female elf. Help! No, of course I won't do anything stupid. You're right. We should get help. Quick, back to the elf burrow. Oh boy. It's dragons in this? Why didn't nobody tell me? I would have made it so much more exciting to begin with. Oh, okay. All right, we we'll begin. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's do it. Move her through the dragon's leg. It's pretty hard point and click stuff, I would just want to say. It's not, it's, you know, okay. The metal cage is fastened onto the dragon's harness. The old gremlin's in the cage. He hasn't noticed me yet. Why wouldn't he have noticed you? You're right there. Hey, hello, you there? Ooh. Who are you? My name is... Never mind, there's something you have to do for me. What am I talking about? It's not just for me, it's for the Alliance. The Alliance. I have no particular interest in the Alliance. I don't care. This has to do with everyone. Professor McGuffin's the name. Professor McGuffin's the name. I've discovered Archaeologist. Something important. And they want it? Oh, yes. You've no idea how much they want it. Let me guess. Your kidnappers up there want to use your knowledge to achieve world domination? You may scoff, but they would have to skin me before I tell them what I know. Okay then, I'll release you. Alright, so world domination's on this. No, 
It's not going to be your standard kidnapping for ransom then. Oh. Take it to the Archmage Alistair in the town of Seastar on the coast. He will send someone to my house. The book that describes where it is hidden is there in my secret cellar. He must get it to safety. And what about you? So I'm an elf that's taken a ring on a journey in a fantasy tip place to something a little familiar, doesn't it? And the ring's been given to me by a small person, so this is very Lord of the Rings, even if it's not like that. Okay, so let's do it. Are you mad? Get me out of here. As long as there's a chance of being rescued, I'm not going to sacrifice myself to Mortroga. Mortroga? Hmm. Good question. This cage is well built and the lock won't be easy to deal Oh, this is where I come in. I could untie the cage and then it would smash when it hits the ground. Just like my old bones. But it's not a bad idea. On the way to Mortroga's fortress, we'll fly over the White Ridge Mountains. Everything's covered in snow there and the dragon will fly low over the peaks. We could try it there. That was a joke. That's not like a good idea, doesn't it? Let's knock you off the dragon so you fall hundreds of feet to your death. Let me see how the cage is fastened. You do that. I'll be uh, here if you need. No idea what's going on here. But I should probably hmm. release the old gremlin before we get into enemy territory. We'll have to see how we go after that. Hmm. This rope fastens the cage to the dragon. I have to undo it if I want to drop the cage onto the mountains. Oh, this is too tight. Oh no, it's too tight. To this just using my hands. God damn it. If I had a knife or a sword, I could perhaps cut the rope. Sword or a knife then, huh? Hmm. Do we have a sword or a knife? Look at the load. Let's look at this load. So they have... So in this fantasy world, they have dragons for transporting, but not for anything else. That seems a little... You know? You'd think the dragons would be, you know, um, a bit more combat -y, you know? Angry, fire-breathing, eating people, that sort of thing. The cage has been secured with a thick rope. I can't release it using my bare hands. Then you'll have to cut through the rope. Splendid idea. But I don't have a knife. Why would you not have a knife with you? Kidnappers up there are sure to be armed. Oh, great. That could be true. I'll just carry on then. You wait here. Hmm. Well, I can't see a knife, and I feel bad for the people who watch who are like, wow. What if I could a butt? No. Okay, um. Let's walk towards here, I guess. Hmm. That's the way up onto the dragon's back. I can't reach the support strut. Oh no. I feel so stupid. Wait, let's just click that again. No, okay. That's not gonna work. Look at the support strut. No, no, no. Hmm. I am just confused. Really confused. Do you think there would be like a bag or something here? Hmm. Hey, MacGuffin. What is it? There's another option in here. No problem. Nope, he gave me something. A whip. Oh, a whip. Serve me well. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll just. Maybe if we go there now. Perhaps I can. Yep. Okay, we'll do that. You whip it. You whip it good. Okay, there we go. Alright. Up we go.
What? Yes, yes, I was evil. And yes, I'll bring him with me, mother. Yes, yes, yes. I have to go. Someone has Why? mommy issues. I'm staring at dragon, remember? You're not really staring at, are you? I suppose even disfigured yes. goblin things have mums as well. Love you too. Oh, by the gods, how I hate her! No, not much longer, Marcus, not much longer. Soon you will have it in your hands. Hmm. But you have to be careful, Marcus. Mother is mistrustful. She has her agents everywhere. And you are talking to yourself. Better shut up. Conveniently talk to yourself. Story. Hmm. It's vital that I rescue him. If I remain right here on the outside, then they won't be able to spot me from the drop. Hmm, not me. So I want that knife. Hmm, okay. A thin wooden stick with the flag of the shadow army. Take the wooden button. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. It's climbing down. I could really do with one of the Hmm. Can I just go down now? Joint. Could I just go down now and use the wooden baton? I wonder. This rope fastened. This is. No, I don't think so. Let's see. Can I? No. Okay. Now what? I guess I use the wooden baton for something later then. But um. Hmm. Let's see, um... Hmm. I think I can reach the sword with the stick, but getting the goblin would notice the stick and I'd have a knife in my... Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm, what am I meant to do here? This is just really confusing, if anything. would notice the stick and I'd have a knife in my stomach before I could Hmm. I could really do with one of those swords. God damn it. An old cardboard box. Oh here we go. It seems to be There are a few moth eaten blankets in the box, a bit of dried meat covered in white moth a line with a fish hook. I'll oh, there we go. Ah, the fish hook. Ah, oh, yeah, combine them. I think I can reach the goblin. I'll knot the line to the tip of the stick, and hey presto, I've got a fishing. It's time to go fishing, I guess. That's what they would say. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that was easy, wasn't it? Yeah, it was elegant. I am shocked. I now have a sword. I am an elf with a long sword. I f or a short sword, rather. I feel quite proud of myself. I should warn MacGuffin that we're in. Hey, MacGuffin. What is it? So what is this discovery? I can't tell you. Too dangerous. Hmm. Actually. It either. What do you mean? I found a clue in an old book as to where the artifact. What is it? It's is kind of artifact. frustrating. It. This is getting more and more cliche. Cliche. A struggle of good against evil is never cliche. A struggle of good. You mentioned your secret cellar. Is that where the book's hidden? Pretty risky. <laughs> I've got a sword and can cut through the rope as soon as you're ready. Fine. 
I'm ready when you are. We're over the mountains. It's oh, that's convenient. Never. Are you really sure? I am. But. But. If I don't survive, or they catch me, then you'll have to fetch the book from my secret cellar and take it to the Archmage. Oh, God. Isn't this a strange coincidence? A young pretty elf walks through the woods. A young and pretty and elf. Caught up in an adventure. Don't talk. Just cut me free. Don't talk, woman. That's that's what I got from that. It's a little snappy. I am rescuing him after all. There's the mountain. Good luck, MacGuffin. Poor MacGuffin. What a fat dragon. <laughs> No wonder it's only a transport dragon. Oh! Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh! Oh god. Whoops. Oh! Shit, he knows. I wonder if he saw us. Um. Oh! The dragon just watches and flies. Oh! HMH Interactive. That must be the developers. So I finished Prologue, I think. Ah! Oh, that's pleasant. It's kind of really frustrating that you can't skip this, because it's kind of like, um... The credits are supposed to be at the end, you know, usually. This is kind of like movie trailers, and you kind of just have to sit through it, which is kind of a little bothering, because you can't really look and learn anything from the map there. It's just too quick and unfamiliar to really learn anything, I guess. I don't know. This is maybe a little nitpicky, I guess. Claudius Vesting. Ooh, that's a pretty, uh, posh name. We can thank Benny Oshman for the awesome music, which is actually pretty good music, honestly, especially for, um, for, like, this sort of, like, point and click. It's actually quite, really, like, really, really nice. Like, um, I can't really say much more than that. It's, like, really fitting and kind of pleasant. Uh, Wilbur, working hard at Ooh, it. dwarf. I, I'm, I'm almost done, you. I could see. Beavering away, eh? <laughs> Beavering away, eh? Well, this time, a knight riding high on his horse? Or one of those funny little mages again, eh? <laughs> hey, hero. I've got a job for you. A quest. Good job for you. Send my new <laughs> house robot off on a rat hunt. There's a rat right there. in for my precious hops. And if I don't plant them, beer's going to be a wee bit scarce. I'm oh, not the bear. To catch rats. You're not a hero yet, laddie. Wouldn't be a fantasy game with that rat catching, would it? And that being the case, you'd better get your act together. Then you can finish up here and go and have some more heroic daydreams. <laughs> I need to go and do a quality control check on barrels 2034 to 2038. Only ba only four yeah, barrels. Be something wrong hmm. with the 2030 batch. We'll see. We'll see. It'll be a pretty sweet job being a dwarf with an accent, making beer in an old style inn in a fantasy. You know, that'd be pretty awesome. Oh shit! I'm meant to do something. Oh god. Okay. Um. All right. So let's look at the wooden box real quick. A large oh. crate. It must have been delivered as I um I swept. You're sleeping. Let's be honest, buddy. Let's see. Not a chance. I'll never get this crate to open with my bear. I'm surprised I got the rights to this music. That's the old song. I'm trying to remember what it's called. But yeah, I'm surprised they uh they have it. Oh, you can look at the chair. Look at the pipe. Let's look, let's look at the pipe. I'm too curious for my own good, let's be honest. Pipes run through the walls and floor. They are part the central beer supply system. That's that's kind of awesome. Let's go to the kitchen. 
Where was I meant to go again? Hmm. Hello, Master. Send the robot on the rat hunt. Okay. Hmm. Robot. Let's go this way, I guess. But I don't think he's outside. That's the exit. But first, I have to teach the house robot. The house robot. Hmm. Oh. Rat hole. Ha. Let's go to the rat hole. Let's see what happens. It's like just under his desk, though. That seems to be the rat hole where the little. Hmm. Okay. So now we need to find the robot. Where is the robot? It's a map. It's it shows the area reaching from up. Oh, we're in the mountains as well. So we're probably going to meet up with the main character at some point. Now, where's this bloody house robot? Damn house robot. You pay a lot of money for these things, but they're never around when you want them. It's really unfortunate. Ooh, food. Um, water pump? This pump can be, although I would... Ah, uh, let's look at the window. Long. Hmm. Where is it? I... Brewer says these kettles are used to... A thieving rat. Hmm. It's up in the box again, I guess. It must be in the box. Let's see. Not a chance. I'll never get this crate. With your bare hands. Hmm. It's on the stove. That bloody rat is baiting me as well. I'm not really good at these point and click games if anybody hasn't noticed yet. <laughs> uh, let's look at the stove. Water, excellent storm, miss. Hmm. Gate two outside. Look at the pipe. Oh no. Oh no. Let's talk to the master brewer. He might have something with us. Hello, Master. Hey, hey. So I'm supposed to uncreate the robot and send it after the rat. Uncreate it. Okay. You? I'm not really all that into technology. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm sure there's some instructions in the crate. Shouldn't be that difficult for Mr. Mage. <laughs> Mr. Mage. All right, all right, all right. Um. Okay. I'll take care of the robot. Bye. So now I need something to open the crate, which is a problem that I'm having. Um. Ah, oh, crowbar. Ha, huh, of course. A dwarf-sized crowbar. A dwarf-sized crowbar? What's the difference? Oh, big. Oh, it's, that's a bit much. Dwarfs aren't very big, let's be honest. There's a reason they're called dwarfs and not normal people. Okay, let's go. Oh, he did quite well there. Manual. Oh. I wonder if it's one of those ones which comes in like 30 different languages, but English isn't the first one because apparently it's not the first language they sell it in. So you have to go like halfway through the book to find the English one, and it's really frustrating. It's Where probably like that. Nope. Oh, I should be. Oh! Wait, the same track I do! I feel so happy. Here we are. Dwarven. Dwarven. Thank you for purchasing an X100 house robot. The latest in house robot technology. Oh, well, the X102 is actually much more efficient. You really get what you pay for, though. Of course. Rats breeding? Oh, that seems a little counter and counterproductive, doesn't it? You must first feed the X100 with DNA from your target. Wow, that's a little morbid. DNA carriers include hair, blood, sweat, snot, and uh, other things. Well, there's only uh, one other fluid. Okay. Oh, actually, the there's two. I have to give the robot a little garbage appetizer to start it up before I feed it the main course, rat DNA. A little a garbage. Simple rat trap. Hmm. According to the manual, the X100 needs kitchen scraps or. Oh, kitchen time. It's kitchen time. 
I'm not really good with voices. You know, it's not not great. Kitchen waste. There I we are. A history of dwarven cuisine. The last three weeks by Wilbur Weathervane. That's your name, Wilbur Weathervane. That's that's not a nice, that's not a bad name. It's quite posh. Ugh. You can keep it to yourself, Sonny. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, this never really gets old. Let's see how it likes this. Aha! It works. <laughs> it just kind of buzzes around and makes noises. Uh, okay, anyway, let's see. Um, Ugh. It looks like the X1. Now I just have to get it to hunt. A thieving rat. It always runs when it gets close. Hmm. Now, I need to get a rat DNA to say? Let's walk over. Let's see what happens. We'll go in. Okay, I'll go in. The rat has chewed through the wood. There's some fur. Ooh, I'll take that. Yep. Alright, so now we have the DNA, I think. Yep, there we are. And now the fur. <laughs> well, that's not very efficient, is it? They said it would be the. It won't be back anytime soon either. Oh, so that's what it does. It just chases it away. It doesn't actually get it and like dispose of it and do all of that. That's not really efficient. There's only one rat as well. Uh, all right, let's talk. Hello, Master Brewers. Hey, hey. The rat's gone. I saw. It's amazing what you little gnomes can puzzle out, eh? <laughs> the rat's lost his appetite for my hops at any rate. He won't be coming back for a while. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Of course you can. Safe home, my lad. See you tomorrow. Bye. See. And another day ends. And, as usual, I didn't save any princesses, or fight any dragons, or hunt any orcs. Well, I got a feeling you're about to do one of the three. I didn't even do it myself. I used a fully automated robot instead. Hey, come on, that robot pulled its weight. That robot is a decent robot. Don't rip on that robot, man. But I'm gonna make it one day. Oh. What a nice scenery. Mm, all right then. Oh god. Oh, it jumped a bit. Hey you, boy, you've got to boy. get me out of here. Quickly, please. I was abducted. An elf freed me. They want I like how he just looks at them blank. He looks at the guy blankly and is just looking around a bit. Listen, boy, it's too late. You see this ring? He's not a very bright gnome. It's the key. Take it to the human arts mage in the town of Seastone. You understand? But he's just looking up, saying, "All of our fates depend on it." Oh, oh God! McGrubbin's gone. McGruffin, McGrubbin, I'm not sure what it is. Nope. So now the small, non violent oh, gnome or hobbit this. has the ring. No yeah. Oh. Nope. And it. my axe! That's what's gonna happen. That's, he's gonna be the dwarf, like Gimli. Alright, let's, let's, let's go back in.